What's up, y'all? Hope all as well as your girl. She loves light. I know it has been a minute. I've traveled. <sighs> I've been traveling. And um, I know I said I would do vlogs and stuff. But I don't know. Just like sometimes recording stuff just kind of takes away from the experience for me. Like, you you know, you want to experience it, but you're so busy trying to make sure it's in the frame and it's perfect and everything else that you mix miss out on the experience. So, like... Um, I went to the Beyonce concert. I didn't tape any of that. I went to EBE um, this just yesterday. I taped some of the performances, but it's kind of like, uh, uh, uh. Um, what was I going to say? I'm sorry. I just checked, I checked a text message. But, um, so let me see if there's any updates. So I got my hair retwisted. You could have saw that on Instagram. Now I got it in a bun. But I just put it up. I love this style. I think that I'm always going to have my hair like this. Because it's easier for me to manage in terms of... I can put it in ponytail. It's like nothing for me to put in ponytail. Then I can let it hang the way I usually wear rock it. So I just... I don't know. I just love the fact... I just love them. It's in the double strand twist. Double strand braids two strand braids I don't know what you call them but it's just the two locks intertwined whatever but she did an excellent job I'm in love with it and this is going to be my style all of the time I'm always going to get my whenever I go to her this is how I'm going to get my hair done and um anything else so I've been working out I work out 5 30 in the morning um, and I really like that, enjoy that more than working out during the day. Today, I think I'm going to go during a day class because I missed out the 5.30. I canceled it because I, I was in Houston this weekend. And then after Houston, I flew back. I was in Houston Thursday through Sunday. Um, and then Sunday evening, I went to a concert. So, I'm um, you know, I, I'm just tired <laughs> and I knew that I wouldn't be able to wake up maybe I could have woken up because I usually go to sleep a bit later later and still wake up for at around 4 45 for my 5 30 class but I just I don't know I was kind of tired so I try to work out five days a week <sighs> so if I don't work out Monday I'm gonna have to do Saturday um, I'm gonna most likely just try to go in uh, this afternoon anything else so I went to Atlanta, which was fun, always good. Um, and then I went to Haiti, which is also really nice. I love the Haiti experience. And after Haiti, I went to Houston. Yeah. I'm going to be in New York um, the last weekend in June. Um, and tentatively, I'll be on the West Coast. This is what I'm planning. For my birthday i still haven't purchased my tickets yet but i'm like 85 percent sure i'll be there so uh i'm trying to do seattle portland and i'm stretching a bit and trying to do vancouver um but i will let you well i guess i'll let you all know if i um actually do that trip but most likely it's a yes i'm like 85 percent sure that i'll be on the west coast I had a sinus infection because the weather in South Florida, it just started to rain. It got a bit cooler. And then, um, yeah, so I developed a sinus infection. And then now I have like a cold. But, yeah, I'm congested more so than anything. And then I was yelling and screaming for the Beyonce concert and then for the eBay concert. So now I got a little throat <clears throat> issue as well. Okay, we're almost there, but whatever. Um, and what else? Is there anything else I want to talk about? Yeah, I'm thinking about... Um, my birthday is on June 11. Um, I'm thinking that I'm going to... Uh, like, eat clean for a couple of weeks. Like, do a detox. I don't really want to call it a detox. Because I'm trying to really change my life. Uh, but I'll call it a detox for right now. We'll see, you know, where that goes. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not trying to be a raw vegan. I don't want that per se. 
Um, but I'm not, I'm going to switch it up, change up my eating habits. I ate so good in Houston. I ate so good in Haiti. Oh my God. I loved it. Ate so good in Atlanta. Ah, it was so good. Now I, I, but I, you know, I've been working out. So like it's balanced, <laughs> you know, but I feel like I can take my body to the next level. Um, and I want to, I'm turning 33. So for like 33, I just, I don't know. I want to feel a bit better. I feel good, but I just, I just always know that like I can really take my health and my fitness to the next level, you know? Um, I, so let me tell you about my ankle and I need to go to a doctor and I, I need to really do that, take that seriously. Um, so my ankle, I messed it up and I was in a boot for a couple of weeks in January. And now it's been like over a year, but like even after I got out the boot, like mid, like June or whatever, mid last year, I still had like pain. Like, you know, and I hear that whenever you sprain something, like you can still like feel it like years, years later, maybe forever. Some people, I'm not praying that's what happened to me, but, um, so even I work out, it can, I can be in pain. I'm gonna like push through it. Like it's not pain that I cannot like, it is, it's not like, well, sometimes it gets swollen, but not while working out, but it is a pain that it hurts, but I just like get through it and then it, it, it like disappears. But then, um, like I wore heels. I really, after like the injury, I, like really stopped wearing heels so I wear a lot of flats and I like heels but I, I'm just like I don't want to mess up my ankle any further so I kind of stopped wearing heels and I wear heels every now and again but not as much as I used to I used to wear heels like every single day I don't wear it like that at all it's very rare that I wear heels or so if I wear heels I'm gonna wear I'm gonna have like my flats until I get to court and then I'll like switch into my heels and then once I'm done with court I put back on my flats so anyways um, I was wearing heels and I was literally limping like it hurt so I don't know I need to I know I need to check it out um, and I think I, it was a little swollen another day so yeah my ankle is needs to be worked out so that's that um, I don't know is there anything else somebody asked me about the like the size of my it's the size of my locks because they want my locks, their locks to be the same size. I don't know. I don't know what the now, as you can tell, they're like different sizes and stuff. I don't, I really don't know. Um, so yeah, I can't, I really can't tell you what, what, what the size of my locks are. I could measure them, but I think it wouldn't be accurate because I have different sizes everywhere. So that's just that. Um, oh, excuse me, y'all. I'm hungry. But I do have some water. This Evian, oh baby, I love Evian. Evian is a good brand. I love it. Do you know it's naive backwards? Because basically they said that. Um, I don't think it's intentionally to be naive backwards. Maybe maybe not. But when bottled water came out back in the day, a lot of people was like, didn't they just didn't really? They're like bottled water, like. Like, why do you need to bottle water? Like, water is free. So, a lot of people would pick on people and say, like, you are naive to buy, like, bottled water. So, the running joke is that this is naive in the back. You know, this is naive. Evian is naive spelled backwards. And, yeah. But, I don't really think that that was their intention. But, or maybe, I don't know. So, that's that. Um... Yeah, that's all I have. I will talk to you all very soon. I'll see whether or not I can like add some clips on of some of the trips at the end of this video. Right? We'll see. All right. Bye.